All right, so here's the deal. Um, I performed a soft mod on my Xbox, as you well know, and I used Mech Assault, the original version. There it is for you. Um, can't use Platinum Hits because that has a problem with it, but then you just need an action replay, an Xbox, and a network so that you can do some file transfer protocol stuff. Anyways, getting straight to it. You turn the Xbox on, and it starts up normal, but then goes to Xbox Media Center as my dashboard. So there's Xbox Media Center. Awesome, gives me the date, but it's not correct. It says it's Tuesday, May 17, 2005. Long story short, from the top, we've got programs, videos, music, pictures, weather. Weather's nice, you can go here and it gives you the weather spread for New York City. And it's looking like showers at night on Tuesday. So enjoy that, Adam. Um, right now I've got a network hooked up so that any of the movies I have on my computer my Xbox can find so I've got a source going uh, you go to my videos and I've got Iron Man The Incredible Hulk and Pirates the porno uh, it's come in handy so that's the nice thing about videos you can watch any of those and it's pretty good playback uh, no skipping Music, if I had music folders that were shared on the network, you could find those there. Pictures, same deal. It would open up right there. Um, then we go to programs, which is what I really like about this. We can go to emulators, and I've got emulators for um, N64, Super Nintendo, and regular Nintendo Entertainment System. So um, let's try out N64. Unfortunately, the original Xbox doesn't have a lot of RAM, so when you try to run something like Mario Kart with two-player, it can get a little uh, skippy at first if you it's loading up a lot of information off the hard drive. Uh, obviously, they didn't need enough, didn't need a lot of RAM because they're just running Xbox is running all the games off of the DVD drive. So there we go. We've got Mario Kart. Everything's cool. <laughs> Um, play with everyone's favorite. Uh, I don't know, everyone has different favorites. That's for Yoshi. So, pretty basic little picture we've got going on. You can hear that it's skipping at first. Skips until you get about here, and then it's, everything's good from there. Okay. Good stuff. You then have a bunch. Uh, you can save your games from a c current state, so you're not saving it when the game says to save it, but you can save it at any point. So right now we can save it at this point and open it up later and continue this race, which is a nice little thing about emulators. Uh, we're going to quit Surreal, which is a program that runs 64 emulators. Go back to Programs, Emulations, and let's, you know what, let's do a regular Nintendo. Um, select game, and I've got a bunch of games. Um, on my computer I've got about one, th uh, no about 2,000 regular Nintendo games and then 750 Super Nintendo games. Uh, everyone's favorite, at least my favorite, um, Bubble Bubble. I think Ryan will like this. Uh, you can speed up the game too, which is nice, with the right trigger. Uh, one player start. You remember this stuff, come on. It's a throwback to good times. Oh, he 
this got worked. Next level, yeah. Exit game, and then you've, I've got a bunch of different games. Castlevania, Excite Bike, uh, Duck Hunt doesn't work unfortunately because I don't have a gun. Uh, I'm gonna look into that. Maybe I can do something about it. Legend of Zelda, yeah, long list. Um, you turn to launcher, and you're back to the main game. Um, Xbox Live does work. Uh, of course, I'm not paying for it, and I don't want to, so I don't play on Xbox Live. But if you did want to play some Crimson Skies with maybe the one person that still has it, uh, you turn off the Xbox, open it up, put the disc in, close the disc tray, and it'll load the game regular without Xbox Media Center. What you don't want to do is start with the Xbox Media Center and then put the disc in, because Microsoft will figure out that you're a douchebag and voided your warranty and did some illegal stuff. Uh, that's about all I've got for you for, um, you know, for this so far, but I'll uh, give you updates. Oh, one nice thing that we can do with videos. Um, we can, um, no, that's not what I want to do. I haven't really tried this yet. I'm going to try it right now. Well, I... Because I could resume playing. It's opening the file. Let me on. Yes, Ted. Move beyond this front. And... Uh, it's been a while since I was in... Alright, so yeah, there's a video playback for you. Good stuff, you can go back and forth using the right trigger, action sequences, whatever. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and take it easy.